Hey there HSM, I've got an encouraging moment for you. To do this, we are going to look at 1 Corinthians 9, and we are looking at chapters, or verses, 24, 25, and 26. Alright, listen to this. Don't you realize that in a race everyone runs, but only one person gets the prize? So run to win. All athletes are disciplined in their training. They do it to win a prize that will fade away, but we do it for an eternal prize. So I run with purpose in every step. I am not just shadow boxing. Paul here, using some really cool sports illustrations, and yes, they had sports way back then. But Paul's presenting this idea of an athlete who first prepares and then trains hard and shows up on race day with laser focus and strong determination. But what if this athlete or, or this runner, what if they didn't eat right? And what if they, they weren't drinking enough water? And what if they were staying up all night, skipping practice, ditching workouts, showing up to the track in flip flops, and then on race day, they just walk the whole race. That wouldn't even make sense, right? And this definitely doesn't describe an athlete who's running to win or who's running with any purpose at all. Remember, Paul told us that he runs with purpose in every step. And now we know that Paul wasn't talking about him actually running a physical race. But he was talking about training and strengthening his faith so that he could stay focused on sharing the gospel, right? Just like a runner stays focused on winning a race through training, through preparation, and then on race day. In some ways, how we approach our faith should look like a runner who, yeah, prepares well, trains hard, and then runs to win. Okay, I want to encourage you with two things. I've got two things for you. First, here we go. If you're sitting on the sidelines with your faith right now, you need to get up and start running, okay? Because the gospel needs you in this race. And when you start running this race, okay, run it with purpose. And the purpose, what is it? Yes, it is to advance the gospel to your generation. All right, the second thing, I also want to encourage you to train well. Not just train casually, but train well, okay? And how do we train well? Well, we, we read and we understand God's word, right? We, we, we pray, we talk to God, and we surrender our lives so that, like Paul, okay, he says over in Philippians 3.14, he says, I press on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God through Christ Jesus is calling us. Can I pray for you? All right. Hey God, and thank you so much for every student listening and I pray that you would help them to just run their race well and with purpose so that they can bring the gospel to, to everyone in their life, to their generation, to their friends, and to their families. God, thank you again for every student in HSM. Amen. All right, till next time. Hey HSM, let me encourage you today with Philippians 4.13 For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. This verse means a lot to me because, see, I was a university student in Virginia and while I was home for summer, unfortunately through a series of not so smart choices, it caused me not to return to school in the fall. To be honest, I found myself very discouraged in my faith, but I realized God was not giving up on me, even though I was giving up on myself. I still remember that night and the feelings of regret, defeat, and overall, a loss of sense of direction for my life. It was that moment I got on my knees and I called out to God for forgiveness and for strength. 
And he heard that prayer. Because of that moment surrendering my life to God, he has been strengthening me in my faith as I live him out loud. Now, if you're listening to me right now and you're feeling discouraged, you're feeling regret, or you're feeling lost, I want to encourage you to do what I did and to call out to God and be open with Him and be honest with Him with what you're going through because He is a God who loves you and wants to do life with you. Hey, let me pray for you. Dear Lord, I thank you for the students at HSM. And if any of them are struggling like I was, I pray you give them the strength to call out to you as I did. And may they come to understand that they too can do all things through Christ who gives them strength. Amen. See you soon. Hey HSM, how you doing? I'm here to give you an encouraging moment. But first, this is what I want you to do. I want you to take a deep breath. All right, ready? Deep breath, hold it. Ah, oh, and relax. All right, one more time. Deep breath. Ah, oh, and relax. Doesn't it feel good to relax? But let's be honest. There are moments in our lives that when we're not relaxed, we're kind of like, freaking out a little bit like we have worries and we have stress and we have problems and we have all this stuff going on right so what I want you to do right now I want you to do me a favor okay I want you to grab a piece of paper okay any piece of paper will do all right and I want you to grab a pen now I like using a pencil and what I want you to do is I want you to write down everything right now in this moment that's causing you yeah to worry or maybe there's things right now going on in your life that's causing you to feel a little anxious. I want you to write those things down. And now, the things that I write on this list will probably be a little bit different than you will write on your list. Maybe for some of you, you got some stuff going on in school. Maybe you're worried and stressed out over the amount of work that you got to get done. Maybe, you know, that conversation with that friend didn't go so well. Or maybe there's just some stuff going on at home and it's causing you to lay awake at night. Whatever it is, what I want you to do is I want you to write it down, okay? Anything that's worrying you. Anything that's causing you anxiety right now. All right. You got things written down? Awesome. Now what I want you to do is I want you to take that piece of paper and I want you just to fold it in half, okay? Now, next thing I want to do is I want to read you a piece of scripture and it's found in 1 Peter chapter 5 and it's verse 7 and it says this, give all your worries and cares to who? To God. Yeah, that's right. It says, give all your worries and cares to God. Now, why do we do that? Why do I give all my worries and cares to God? Well, it answers it right here. It says, because He cares about you. Yeah, it doesn't get any plainer than that. God cares about you and He sees what you're going through. He knows what you're worried about. He knows what's causing the anxiety in your life. And what He's saying is like, hey, would you give this to me? Right? Not to me, but to him. So what I want you to do is I want you to take that piece of paper and all those things that you wrote down, those things that cause you to worry, those things that cause you anxiety, and I want you just to hand it off to God. Go ahead. Just hand it off to God. Give it to him. But here's the cool thing. When you give it to God, God also wants to give something back to you. So let me encourage you with this today, that no matter what you're going through, God's got your back. He sees it, he understands, and he cares about you. And he says, hey, give me those things. And then God says, I want to give back to you. I want to give you peace. I want to give you strength. I want to give you wisdom. I want to give you the courage that you need to get through it. It is so good. So let me end with this. I want you to... I want to encourage you in three things. Number one, I want to encourage you that God cares about you. Come on, say that with me. God cares about me. That's right, right? Number two, God cares about how you feel. He cares and he understands. And number three, God cares about what you are worried about. And he's here for you. 
So come on, why don't you do that today? Why don't you take a moment and say, hey God, I'm worried. Hey God, I'm a little stressed. Hey God, I got some anxiety going on, but I'm going to give it to you. So here you go, God. But God, I'm going to take from you, not take, I'm going to receive from you your peace and your strength, and I know I'm going to get through it. Hey, let me pray for you. God, I just want to say thank you for every student who's listening right now. And I understand that they may be going through some stuff. They may be worried right now. They may have some anxiety going on in their lives. But Lord, I pray that your peace that surpasses all understanding will give them comfort right now as they give these things to you and trust you to do what you do best. And that's to strengthen us and equip us to keep moving forward as we love and trust you. Hey God, thank you for caring for each and every one of those students. Amen. Hey, be encouraged today that God cares about you. He knows what you're going through. As you trust in Him, He's going to get you through it. Later.